starting to pick up. And we're on. I haven't been able to get out in a week, which is unfortunate. And currently chose to go out in the middle of a rainstorm that's about to start. They said it was gonna start later at 9 p.m. But can't tell. It's starting to pick up. And we're on. A little squealy. Haven't got one in a while. Okay, we got the skunk out of the boat. Ah, sorry if I'm talking loud. These waves and wind are just crazy. I had to replace my leader from all the rocks. Is the fish getting any bigger? I won't be able to actually get them in the, get them in. But not bad. That was probably like my 10th cast. I just changed to that uh, darker finback shad from Lunker City. That was the first one I was throwing was a white one, but it was mixed in with the glowing in the dark. So now it glows in the dark. I would definitely advise coming out here with a partner because this is super dangerous. Below me, all the rocks are super wet from all the waves hitting them. We got some nice juicy white water over to our right. Can't really fish that area though because it's just pure rocks. You need some um, real shoes to get out there. You need some spikes. So I'm currently just down on top of this boulder, casting out. I know it gets real deep over here off this drop off. Sometimes the fish will sit right in that. Like that last hit was at the last possible second, which I thought was pretty funny. These waves are crazy though. I ran into an Albi fisherman and he's been saying the Albi's have been up in here. He caught one the other week, he said, and also lost another. Never hooked up on one of those though. I've seen the videos, I've tried. I've probably seen Albi's like three, four times this summer, but never been able to actually hook up.
but this is all I'm throwing right now. Shad, plastic t paddle tail, Blunker City head. This was a neon green one just for a little color. This one has uh, kind of like a sand eel presentation, dark on the top, light on the bottom. Let it drop a little bit. That last one was on the surface, which is kind of interesting. I might start throwing some top water. But that was definitely a little interesting. I've been trying to go along the bottom more. I might take out my big surf casting rod for that. But this is really interesting. I'm currently at a point of uh, Satchewitz, it's, it's called Satchewitz Point, but it's just like park. And currently the wind is coming out over there from my left, and the wind is coming out from my right. And I'm just getting hit from both sides, wind constantly, which is it's just two different directions. It's no fun. Blowing my line back and forth. I'm really, I'm pretty afraid of getting a wind knock. So either way, I'm casting directly into the wind technically. And that's why I got both of my rods, just, just because of that. Because you don't want to deal with the wind knot, especially when it's getting dark. Got waves crashing on you. Gotta be prepared, that's why I got the two rods. So, I only had that one little guy, but I mean... It was a good catch to me just because I hadn't caught anything in over a week. And it was just good to see signs that fish were still in the area and they haven't all migrated south yet. So it's happy to know the fall run's still going. They're a little more sparse, but they're still in the area, which is always good to know. Hope you enjoyed. Please uh, give it a like and uh, subscribe. Um, it really does help and I'll have some more videos coming out in the future.